Hi, it's Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands here. Um, we are still working on our grungy steampunk rainbow picture. Um, and we left off, I believe, doing the edging. So we need to do the second layer of the edging, which is this beautiful um, geometric pattern. And we were going to do it in the center of the edging. Now, you might notice there's a, a few holes going round. This is because I've pre-prepared the next stage, but I'll explain that in a minute. Don't panic. So we want to start at the top because it's the less seen area, shall we say. Let's put this facing me. I'm trying to trying to balance it without um, much success at the moment. Let me see, put my hammer in there like my that's it, that's hold it steady for me. There we go. So I'll start that down there a bit more. Start at the top, in the middle at the top, and that way. it's not so likely to be seen as a join. Now I'm going to go over the holes because I can come back through them on the other side. So I'm just trying to gauge how much I've got top and bottom of my central pattern. So I want a little bit of edge showing here and a little bit of edge showing here. And coming around the corner, oh that's nice, it's right on join, uh, an edge. So bringing it round, hold this up again, don't look too closely to the inside, I will tidy that up a little bit, but hopefully no one's going to be inspecting that bit, so we'll follow around the edges, and I'm rubbing it down as I go, but I will come back and burnish it, and down the bottom, edge. Just take your time with this because you don't want it going wicky wonky and wobbly. Oh please don't run out on me. I think it's close but I don't think we're gonna run out that's good so how can I oh look at that all the way around and I come back exactly level ha. I'm happy with that so this is that's for a future episode I'm getting signals from the um, confused signals from the technical gallery as to why I've got sewing signals on the sewing sis, sewing scissors to put my teeth back in on the desk excuse me who asked you Bruce quiet my um a app decided to chime in there. I'm not quite sure. Missing out on the action, I think. So now we've gone round all the edges with our paper. The holes that I've done, and I'll show you how I did them. I used my awl and my craft mallet and just basically bang through it's just basically chipboard inside so it's quite easy to go through just take your time if you would rather not do the, the banging through with your pokey tool or your awl 
then you know a little hand craft drill would work or even a very fine power drill we just have to be very careful not to uh... we have one in the mail <laughs> we've got a hand drill in the mail <coughs> you realize it would be a useful thing so we're waiting on that one now to decorate the bottom further i was wanting to hang this from the bottom obviously it will hang vertically and I was trying to work out in post filming um, pre filming sorry we haven't got to post filming yet um, how it will be able to be fixed to the base um, bottom of the base without too much faffing and with a stylish edge to it so we've come up with these it'll split pins push pins paper pins whatever you want to call them so that's why we've done the holes but we're also going to uh, emulate the design all the way around but without the jewelry broken jewelry um i got these from a charity shop you might have noticed the color on this has changed um, I dyed one green, one amber to blend in with our colour scheme. And it took the dye really nice. It's just a plastic, plain plastic bead. So remember, if you do have these ink dyes, you can dye all sorts of things with them. I've actually seen people dyeing plastic kids' animals to use in a collage or a a montage or whatever um, to you know because they they wanted a, a rabbit but it was a wrong color so it might have been bright orange or something and they you know dyed it to the color they needed so we're gonna put these pins in but I need to come in from the back and the holes to push back out through my um, tape I've just put through so I need to gently just don't need to be a big hole just so that I know where the hole is so I'm just gently poking through and coming out I don't know if you can see it coming out the other side just about yeah there we go and that one and I'll go all the way around nearly there on that one some of them I got a little bit close to the top edge here um, but the pins will just have to split either side rather than up and down doesn't doesn't matter that they will still stay in just as good so so I'm just going round getting my holes so I can see where they are now if you didn't like the brassiness of the pins you can use <laughs> dare I say it again nail polish or ink dyes or whatever method you could even put glitter glue on them just to give them a or leave them in a damp box let them rust yeah um, people do you can buy rusty things on online people specialize in making paper clips and staples rusty for people to use which is um, quite mind-boggling to be honest but that's what people like to use so they like the grunge I'm trying to embrace the grunge in my own inevitable style I'm not sure I actually have a style I just like all different ways of doing things and experimenting so but I do love colour so I like to play with that a lot so making sure we're putting the jewellery on the right bit so we have the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top so that I can get my trusty hammer to hold things in place no why are you not holding it in place this time oh well we've got to go upright then okay so 
this is the tricky bit I need to make sure all the bits are facing the right way so they've got to come towards me and all the chains are not tangled round so we don't have to muck about with it once we've got it on the first one is around about there we get that one on and then we can hold it in place a bit easier for us so find my hole give it a wiggle and you go there you go so we've got our first one in place making sure we all go that way and I need to make sure I have a link um, where the hole is so there might be a little bit of a, a scoop and next one a link where the hole is yeah now that doesn't quite reach so we need to take that out and bring that on the next link or go end to end and then match it in that's better Push you in. Okay. This needs to come this side. Come on. Come on, don't be shy. We want you over this way. You, you can dangle down in a minute, but you have to come around this way. That's it. We'll have a play with you in a minute. Okay. Right. Very temperamental, this jewelry. The others should go a little bit easier because I'm not trying to position bits of jewellery. And where's the other hole gone? Oh, there you are. Okay. Right, so basically we've got our push pins, split pins in. Now we haven't got much coming out the other end. But we should be able to split them enough to hold them in. As long as no one jumps and I'm trying to split the pin without breaking my nails with my tool here. Then push it down and push it down. Um, might be a better blade now. Yeah. Uh, push it in as far as I can. <laughs> oh, hang on, I'm off screen here. Trying to trying to get it in my eyes view so I can see what I'm doing. Begging your pardon, folks. All I'm doing is just splitting the pins to hold it in place and pushing it down. Nothing too exciting at the moment. Making sure that's in as tight as it'll go. Um, what Peter just handed me there was a blade um, from my sculpting kit. I've got a lovely kit but I haven't had a chance to use it yet so maybe that's another episode in the making having some fun with the sculpting kit so I'm holding the, the pin one at the bottom and pushing it down from the top so I don't push it back out again now these will be a bit shorter on the ends than the plain ones because they've got to hold in the um, chain as well so that's why they're not quite so deep but they do come out just enough oh. one over two over and push through it by the end 
right hopefully no one's going to be swinging off the chains and that is pretty secure so let's give you a, a dingle dangles of the which is the best way of doing it oh, I'm trying to get to the bottom so sorry. You can see them dangling but it's difficult to give you a proper image with the camera facing down but you'll see it in the, the final pictures oh, I'm really pleased with that so let's get the other ones pushed in and time is marching pop these ones in these should go a lot quicker I hope I've counted them out enough and it just gives a bit of texture on the edge so you've got visual texture with the patterns and you've got actual texture with the pins now this one is too close to the edge get it in let's come in sideways ah got him okay now i'm just going to put them in at the moment i'm not going to worry about splitting them i can come back and do that at a later date they're pretty firmly in there actually so even if you didn't split them and secure them that they're, they're not likely to fall out um, unless you sort of deliberately want to pull them out come on in you go yeah you could always push them down with a bit of glue on the underside to hold them in how many left we've got four left i think hopefully <laughs> otherwise i miscounted one two three four yeah lovely okay so we are getting there guys we are getting there um i'm doing the side I believe. Go on. In you go. <laughs> okay, so we'll leave the opening out of the pins for me to do off screen, but just gives let's do a little scoot around. Gives it a bit of fun texture and and you can actually see it from the front view as well so if you're looking at it from directly down or face on you can see them poking out the top which gives a lot more texture right so talking of texture the next stage was to decorate our lollipops now we're going on a theme of orange on green green on orange so we got some white pearls of course we did and we made them orange with the ink Of course we did. Oh no, that did that go in the middle? Small one in the middle. That's right. I'm try, trying to remember how we had it laid out. Well, that's not enough then. Oh no, yes it is. Yes it is. Sorry. And what we decided is we wouldn't decorate this corner or this corner, but we're only going to decorate. Huh? These corners. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> we we did we went through so many different scenarios. It's difficult to remember what we actually decided on in the end. It's been a good hour. <laughs> we had an hour, hour playing about. Is will that look all right? Does that look all right? What combination do we put here? And that type of thing. So yes. So we, that wasn't in the video. <laughs> yeah, we decided that maybe you didn't want to sit through that. I think it was these in the middle, wasn't it? Yeah. At least on this side. Yeah. And we decided to have a ship's wheel, or <laughs> pretending it's a ship's wheel, in the middle of each one of these. And then on the other side, we had three and two, two and three. Have I got this the right way around? Yes. Yeah, that's right. So, orange in the middle, green either side. Is that right? That's how we had it. Can you get to my photographs on my phone? Because I took a photograph. Right I took a photograph of it. Well, it doesn't matter how we had it necessarily, it's how we're going to end up with it. <laughs> I might put that photograph in so you can see the design now. So, pop these on, pop these on, and pop these on. So we will probably glue these on off camera, but I just want to show you how we had the design and hope where the other gems gone. There seem to be a set of gems missing. Where did they go? Dig it, dig it. Ah, that's one. Went there. Come out. And that went there. Uh huh. There's another one. We had a bit of a misfortune with the cat knocking the tray of gems over. And I'm not sure I put them all back in correctly. So, but I've got the jars beside me. So, if I can't can't find them in the tray, then I will. But I think I've got one more to find. One more orange one. Where are you? One more orange one. I'll get this out of the jar. It's obviously gone missing. Probably walked into the sitting room on the cat's paw or something. But let's see. Joys of having cats. So that's the layout that I remember us finalising. So that, that's how it's going to be when it's all glued on. But we'll go a bit further forward now. And we decided that our little flowers were going to pop out the keys. So we can do that now. Now, in order to get the flowers on, I just... Oh, yes, we had a leaf in there as well, didn't we? So we dyed a bead to form a leaf.
with the micro camera I'm having trouble finding you um, I will get used to it and then we twist the flower on as I think I showed you in the previous one so we now have a pretty leaf and flower to go in our keyhole Well, we can do it either side, doesn't matter. <laughs> so, we need to put our glue in the hole. Um, not for those ones, only for the bigger ones. Because, um, I hope, put plenty in because, because it's only very fine um, wire and if I did a hole it's going to be chunky and it probably wouldn't so I'm going to sit that in sit that in there and try and hold it in place while it dries. Yes! Using every method of technology available to me to make it stand up right. Um, it's going to take a while to dry. Meanwhile, meanwhile, did you see that transition? I will have to remove this purple flower and pop my leaf on. Get these prepared. that down these colors are random I'm knocking me knocking my steering wheel off me ship's wheel I don't mind I, I think I'm picking them sort of randomly rather than choosing now that one comes out quite nicely from the edge as well it's quite pretty and then this one will go in here I need something to hold them up with just basically filling the hole where the key ring went. Now we're going to try a good technique. I like it. Yes, I hadn't thought of that one. Right, so now we don't have to touch anything in the meantime because everything is um, a bit balanced. We are going to be drilling a hole for the base of this one or hopefully but we can position it as to where we want it and mark it so I have a feeling we might need one more episode on this to just finish everything off and we want to wait for our drill we can get the layout right so we're going to drill here. X marks the spot. And this is going to sit short. Here. That was the reveal. Yeah. So that one's going to sit there. And that one, I think about there. What do you reckon? I don't want it too matchy matchy, but it is matchy matchy. Does that make sense? Stay. Don't move. Oh, don't pull over on me. Goodness. The joys of trying to wait for your glue to dry.
couple up with the... That's it. So that X marks the spot. And then we want to decide which of our lovely... flowers are going to go on top. So do we want two metallics on top? Do we want a big and a small? I like that blue. I think I want that blue front and centre and the Dalek metallic. Okay, so there are big ones. Then we're going to have some flat down. Where's the rest? Oh, they're hiding under here. I thought, I'm sure I had more. And that one. So I want that one up here. But I want this one slightly raised, but not 100% raised. So this one can go on a spring. So we need to have a little hole in the centre. Ah! Stay. No, that's the wrong bit of kit anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll just position it. But basically, we're going to have this on a spring over here. But it's going to be probably half that spring. So it's um, raised up. So let me see. What can we put it on that's about a second. So it's going to be a little difference in height and then we want another one here again difference in height. No that's too tall. Well, actually yeah they'll be no they're too tall. Something about uh, yay, about an inch, about an inch up. So that one's going to go over that one. That one's going to go here, but raised. This one's going to come over here, but raised. Yeah, pop, pop that one like that. Actually, I might use that because you can see underneath it. Um, and we've got a few spare, um, so we might put one under here. It's going to look like a little flowery forest. But we don't have to use them all, but if you get the idea, um, once I've drilled the holes, we'll come back for a final visit once my spring flowers are hopefully dry. Um, and I've drilled the holes for the big um, springs and secured my other flowers at the various heights on the springs and then I can just glue the springs on um, with my glue gun hope that all makes sense and probably as clear as mud but hopefully it will be um, explained better in the next episode when you actually visually see what what's my vision is so much love everyone see you in the next one bye bye